folks live from the laboratory in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. Welcome to Switch vs. at the Laboratory. I'm BC Studio Announcer. Thanks for joining us today. Twitch.tv slash bros underscore calamity or indeed on the YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash bros calamity. It's, uh, we're not going bros calamity VODs anymore, right? It's just bros calamity? There we go, yeah. So, uh, you know, we like to, it's K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what we do here at Bros Calamity. That's how we roll. And it's what we do every single fourth Saturday of the month right here in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. You know how we do. Keep it rocking with the Switch action. We've got Splatoon. We've got a little bit of Mario Tennis Aces. Got a little bit of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate going down later on. And as we are going to get set with uh, some Splatoon 2 action, the team's as we are going to have set here. Uh, the team captains being Baki, Raptura, and... Hang on a second. Baki, Raptura, and Ace. Uh, Ace of the 96th Deco, who... Uh, gotta, gotta say, it's a, it takes a, lot of, takes a lot of gall to go with the 96th gal. But, you know what? It's, uh, it works for him. And uh, Ace, pretty much RNG Jesus around here, as he is well known. And he's got a pretty decent team with Luna, Renmaru, and another guy that you might have heard of here if you're a regular here on this channel. A little gentleman by the name of Astro is going to be on his team. And it was one of the first draft picks, I can only imagine, for Ace. Elsewhere on the, uh, elsewhere on the, uh, on the register, Team Baki is going to be made up of MKV13, Chins, and X. MKV13, I believe the victorious captain from last time. I could be mistaken. But either way, uh, his team putting up one heck of a fight, and MKV, uh, oh, feisty as always, looking to do some damage alongside Baki and X, a relative newcomer to the game, seeing what he can prove as well. And team happy birthday, Rakesh, because it is Rakesh's birthday. He's not here with us, but definitely uh, here with us in spirit. And we'll be team happy birthday, Rakesh, captained by Raptura. Who else but Raptura? Come on now. Who's been... Uh, Definitely one of the stranger, uh, one of the stranger characters in terms of the things that we have. <laughs> why did we? Why did we keep that name up there? Um, but either way, one of the um, one of the stranger characters in terms of selection of weaponry. But no matter what he picks, he always seems to be effective. So I mean, far be it from me to judge. He'll be joined by that so pixely and Eris. So that's the lineup, and right now we're going to have Team Ace versus Team Baki starting things off at this setup. And once again, if you're joining us, you're watching Switch versus at the Laboratory live from the Laboratory. Where else? Come on now. It's Switch versus at the Lab in Hapro, Pennsylvania. You can come out here every fourth Saturday of the month. That's every fourth Saturday of the month. And join us right here. Join us, uh, catch some live Splatoon action, catch some Mario Tennis Aces, catch some Smash Ultimate. Whatever it is, you're, uh, you pick your poison here, folks. And it's going to be tower control starting things off. Game number one, or wait a second. Six, uh, supposed to be splat zones. We're sure that we're going to get that uh, set up in due time. But until then, and I'm uh, going to have Jay Moosh, who's pulling double duty. He's uh, doing the stream as well as being the tournament organizer. It's a uh, it's a hard life that Moosh lives. But yeah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> Now you got someone singing Hard Knock Life, and I immediately regret saying that, but nonetheless. What if you're immune to poison? It means you're a steel type. I don't know. What, what, what. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Okay, Latino of Steel Infinite is uh, talking to me. And I'll, uh, I, the, 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 the look, dude, the, the less you, uh, less you go into detail about that, the better. Quite honestly, so it's all good. Uh, either way, folks, as we are getting things set up, making sure that it is splat zones for game number one. And indeed, it will be. So, uh, random stages, although I do believe that there are banned stages in uh, both of these competitive formats. Excuse me. So, this will be the. Uh, you can't come to Switch Versus because you have no money. Yo, that's bad, man. I'm sorry. MC, brother, you always have a spot here. It's all good, man. We will uh You'll always be welcome whenever you do decide to come back. So don't worry about it, MC. Uh you are missed, you are loved, and can't wait to have you here. And as I'm joined on the microphone at this time by Infinite. Infinite, good seeing you, my man. I think it is too. It's uh 
And, and see, now now I get to make fun of him for it. Like, how you doing, man? Damn. All right. He's just going to... Over here on the casting couch. Okay, you can just not say that ever again. <laughs> I think we'll be good. I think because this is a VOD. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, no, he probably will. Hopefully, Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I think generally speaking, we're good. Hang on, let me just. Yeah, no, that's blah, true. Blah 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 blah. Here we go. Yep. So there we go. Yeah. All this is just like fodder. Yeah, no, we're uh we're getting this sorted out, and you you really got to use my shoulder like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But I gotta rep the brand real quick. Hold up. Yeah, absolutely, man. Bros Calamity, there you go. Yeah. And, and hey, if you want one of those jerseys uh, for yourself, come on down. Say that you want one. Maybe we'll place a, an order. You can get your name on the back of it like he has on the back Unfortun of his. Unfortunately, I got to duct tape one of the names off of it, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It used to be uh, Infinite Omega. Now it's just yeah. Infinite. Yeah. Felt like I needed to change. Yeah, fair enough. So uh, you just, you're just doing the WWE thing where you just, like, drop a name? Out of nowhere, yeah, like how they did T.J. Perkins, T.J.P. Yeah, T.J.P. or actually, Adrian he just got Neville, or actually, he just got released too. Yeah, no, shout out to T.J. Perkins, man. He is an incredible performer. I um, feel like they left him on the back burner. What happened was like he was first cruiserweight champion. Yep. He lost the belt, never got his. He got one rematch, and then just they left him on the back burner, never gave him uh, another opportunity. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of rough, but either way, that's uh. That that is the wrestling business for you. He'll do just fine on his own, I am sure. Now, but did you hear about the recent couple that's been announced for WWE? Oh, uh, Ty Dillinger, I think it was. Nope. Oh, what was it? Oh, uh, uh, Charlotte and, uh, and Andrade. And Andrade, yeah. Good for him. Uh, yeah, another guy who dropped a name out of nowhere. Like what in the world? No, he's still Cien Almas, but they just call him Andrade. Like they have the full name still. Okay. Because he is, like, the CN is, like, gold or something like that. CN, or, I think, is uh, 100, isn't it? It's 100. Like, so Andrade, 100 Almas. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. El, what Almas is. El Idolo. Idolo? The Idol. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's in his theme. El Idolo. I never really got the whole deal behind, like, dropping names to make them more accessible to like stupid people i think that's more of just like a wwe thing to yeah. because i mean they dropped sheamus's last name too and they they also made them made him like anglicize the spelling to have an a to have an h because the real spelling is just s-e-a-m-u-s -E yeah and people would have said seamus yeah but and they would have done they would have done that anyway because they're stupid but that's uh that's quite frankly on them yeah. It's really weird, honestly. Yeah. I mean, wrestling's weird, so what do you want? Yeah, you're not wrong there. So as we get set here, Team... Uh, team. Oh, I was about to say Team Astro, but no, it's Team Ace. We're so used to seeing Astro as a captain, it's so strange to see uh, Astro. someone else taking the helm. But nonetheless, it's going to be Astro and... Uh, Team Baki going, uh, going up against each other. That's not an annoying uh, sound at all. It should What's be interesting that? to see the... You're talking about the game sound? Yeah, just the whole Luna. Luna, if you could stop that, that'd be real cool. Everybody's knowing it. No one likes us. No one likes mm -hmm. us. No one likes mm -hmm. us. We don't care. We don't care. Oh yeah, it's my song right there. Dude, get to a union game sometime. <sighs> Did I tell you, you I don't watch soccer? Okay. I'm Latino, but the only time I watch soccer is during the World Cups. It's all good. Well, I mean, hey, come to a come to a game and uh and throw some beer and sing some songs. You know That's what's you, need to do. you know what's funny? I could go there. I could go to one because remember, my mom gets tickets. That's true, folks. You got a front row seat go. to some Splatoon 2 action right here at the laboratory to Inkblot Art Academy. We go for some Splat Zones. 
Starting things off real quickly. Astro with the Jet Squelcher. He does like his ranged weaponry quite a bit, and he'll be assisted by the end parry splat duelies. The Kensa splatter shot pro, which just got taken out, and a splatter shot that has also been taken out of commission for now. 2 2 on the field, and opposing them is an Octa shot, a, uh, a Tri Slosher, uh, is it Tri Slosher Neville, is it? Yeah, that's the regular Tri Slosher Neville. Yep, and the uh, custom jet squelcher as well, and, and it of looks course, like, the Splatter Shot yeah. Jr. Is that the basic Splatter Shot Jr.? Yeah, it, it is. is. It's the base. You're using a baseline Splatter Shot Jr. Shout out to you, bro, whoever that is. Yeah, no, I mean, it's uh, not unfamiliar territory for people at the laboratory. They're used to dealing with Muddy Jr. and his mm. Splatter Shot Jr. with his coverage and just yeah. unrelenting, uh, unrelenting solo attack uh, prowess. So good at moving in those tight spaces as well. So the quickness that the Splatter Shot Jr. provides does uh, pay dividends. And as we're looking at X right now with the Splatter Shot Jr. trying to get in. Not being allowed to do so, outranged by the Jet Squelcher of Astro, being assisted by that Kensa Splatter Shot Pro to his left. And he's gonna launch off some Tenta Missiles. Oh, Astro being driven back just a little bit. Maybe uh, that's going to allow Team Purple to get in and uh, take control of the zone. Not quite yet, however, he splats MKV-13. And Green once again has control. They are ticking off the clock like it ain't no thing, Infinite. I know, and look at just look at the movement that options that everyone's doing. It's really amazing to see. Coming from an amateur Splatoon player, I just play online. I'm not. I'm not into uh, Wi-Fi warrior. Yeah, pretty much if you want to call it that. It's all good. And now ticking it down. This could be a quick knockout victory. For Astro and company, and indeed it is Team Ace 96 Deco aces up in game number one. And now game number two is going to be Clam Blitz, but they have been given something to think about. Simply outranged in game number one, as you can see. Team Ace has uh, been putting in that work. Seven splats from uh, Ace alone with that Kensa Splattershot Pro. And range is going to be uh, a thing in game number two, but maybe, just maybe, Gonna have to, uh, maybe going to have to uh, get, get more of a uh, close range yeah. set for this one. Yeah, especially with Clan Blitz. Clan Blitz is a really odd game mode because it's more like uh, collecting and being sure you don't die. Because if you die, you drop all your clams, especially if you get a Mecha Clam. Yeah, true. And you don't want to be in that position where you have a Mecha Clam and then you get uh, splatted. The, power, uh, the, the big old Power Clams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it the Mecha Clam. Fair enough. I mean, it's a it's a big. It's football. a it's a football. Yeah. Football. football. Absolutely. Yeah. Shout outs to the uh, what what's that new league that's happening? Uh. Now oh, the XFL. No, not the XFL. The the one that like kind of matters. Um, oh, uh, I forget what it is. It's like the minor leagues almost. Yeah, it's like uh the A A A A F A A F. Yeah, that's it. I know that dude. It looks fun. It really does. Just man, that is uh It's tough to get viewers to uh to your thing after the NFL season, you know? Right. That's rough. Either what way. Is this man. Music we are hearing. Uh is this persona? Oh Christ. Okay. Um I remember at a time I used to be able to sing like that. Oh, so uh, before your balls dropped or? No, uh, after. Oh. It's been a while. Uh, I haven't sang in a group for a long time. I haven't really been back singing yet. Uh, I'm trying to look for a lot of open mics. Either way, folks, gonna be uh, gonna be clam blitz. It's looking like at the uh, at the reef. Okay, so I was about to say the museum. Yeah. I, I'm glad that we got I'm that corrected. To, I'm going to take my hoodie off because this thing is getting really hot. And was there any weapon switches? Looks like it. Yeah, the Hydra Splatling looks like it's coming out from Astro. He's a, a Splatling main, so that Hydra going to be rearing all three of its heads and uh, could be taking a bite out of uh, the victory hopes of Team Baki, who are going to be rolling out with the Kensa Splattershot Pro, the uh, Tri Slosher Nouveau, Jet Squelcher, the Custom Jet Squelcher and Splattershot Jr., same set that they had last time, but a Kensa Splattershot Pro. Uh, being wielded by Ace is going to put a stop to their plans for just a little bit. 3-3 on the field.
And of course, that Hydra Splatling being joined by a uh, a Kensa Splatter Shot Pro, excuse me, yeah, yes, and the and the Splatter Shot, the Vanilla Splatter Shot. And instead yeah. of the end parry dualies, it's going to be the, uh, those are the regular vanilla splat dualies. Yeah, those are uh, default dualies. Yeah. So it's... Uh, I thought dualies were going to be obsolete uh, with the recent update. And since the meta is changing a little bit. But it doesn't seem like it. No, they still provide a little bit of mobility. They uh, And obviously, I don't think the inkjet is ever going to go out of style. However, the vanilla splat dualies is definitely an interesting choice. Beautifully done wow. by oh, Baki. Some dirty deeds done dirt cheap by Baki on Luna. That was nasty. And there goes no. the tower moving up to the next uh, Looks the like next uh, checkpoint. They're in position to take the lead, and indeed they will. Booyah Bomb just misses the tower, too. And as the tower keeps on going, riding off into the distance, it will stop at 29. So 71 points on the board for Team Baki as uh, team, uh, team Ace looks Ooh, to make nice their push. Splat. And a nice oh. double splat by Baki. Oh, and you see the dualies trying to push itself back. Ooh, oh, but Astro. Three. Astro chasing down those dualies. Will he be able to find his mark? No, it's uh, discretion being the better part of Valor will roll out of the way. And Baki pretty much single-handedly pushing the team back. And you can see, you can see the uh, the inkling of the strategy there, no pun intended, of strategy there, where you could see him uh, trying to roll back and trying to feed that uh, feed that kill Ooh. to the uh, to the splatling, but unfortunately just did not play out that way. Astro getting tagged as well, yeah. and uh, Chins looking for uh, looking for some retribution of his own right. Neo, I think that's X actually. Yeah. As he's known, or whatever the case may be. Either way, Baki just waiting, biding his time, looking for that a tower to come back his way. Oh, but he's Ooh. going to get pounced upon by Ace, who's still putting in that work with the Kensa Splatter Shot Pro. Yeah, he is. Oh, they took back the tower. But a Stingray coming out, only going to take out one person, it looked like, or two people, possibly. Well, Ace uh, did some uh, good stuff with that Spot Shot Pro and indeed does so again, taking out Baki and Ooh. X. And a Booyah Bomb coming out. But nobody home. No, the Booyah Bomb is going to take oh, out Chins. Oh, it did Chins. take out Chins. So it's, it is this 3-2 on the field at the moment and one just coming back into play right now. And as Team Green is looking to retake the lead here, they have 66 points on the board. And they will take back the tower and move it up just a little bit, but being swarmed upon just a barrage of purple ink infinite. You can see how both of these teams are like just vicious against each other. The Booyah Bomb coming out, will it hit anybody? Well, it's charging up. He's going to have to throw it eventually. And oh, he oh, does, he get, does Luna. get Luna. And, oh, ooh, and then gets a Neo as well. The fact that he got a trade from that is a little nuts. However, yeah. Ace uh, doing well to hit his mark nonetheless. Oh, and, and a Booyah, Booyah Bomb. Bomb. Oh, it's going to be right to the face of one of those two looking for the double. Will not find it, but does well to get MKV13 on the top. Yes. Ace, oh, this is a precarious situation. He is stranded and far from home. And wait a second, could they retake the lead here? They will not. Oh, He's turned stopped. away. Baki My stopping them. Team Green denied at the very death. And a double kill from Baki, four, three to two on the field. That Could that be the death knell for Team Ace in this game number two? And a Booyah Bomb coming out. Will it take, out, take him out? Oh, I think he's waiting for people to get close to the tower and then get more at once. But he did only get uh, Neo. And then he goes to get Astro. Going where Eagles dare for certain. And wow. this might be a little too much to ask for for Team Green as they extend their lead and putting more points on the board. That indeed will do it. And uh, good stuff by Team Baki. Even though, I mean, they, they did so good to yes. stop the push where they did. I mean, one more tick. And this is a whole different game, but it's going to be Team Baki taking the taking the spoils of this game. Baki leading the way with 22 kills with that Splatter Shot Pro, which again a pretty decent mobile weapon 
very good at mid-range, but you really have to be able to hit your shots in order to use it fully effectively. Yeah, you got to hit your shots, kid. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you got to aim. What can you say? And it's, it's a weird sort of meta that's developed where there are some weapons, at least in the casual sense, you don't even need to aim necessarily in order to uh, have it prove effective. You know, something like the blob blobber or something. I was about like to that. say the blob blobber. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's that a little weapon. Strange. That weapon's nasty. I remember when we, me and you played on your stream that I, I used the blob blobber and was just going in. Yeah, I was like, you need. Were you even aiming? Oh. Okay. It, it's gonna be. Uh, you got a persona playlist going, man. I was just going to do that anyway. Yeah. What are you talking about? I was, I was, I'm going to do that with my mouth. Okay. <laughs> now we should put on Last Surprise. That's my that's my jam. Yeah. The thing is, the more I listen to Last Surprise, the less I like it. Here's it's the thing. That's gonna be his. Uh, that's gonna be in Smash. I know, and I, I. The thing is, is that it's a catchy song. Don't get me wrong, but Bruh. at the same time, it's it's one of those deals. Like I listen to lyrics, and the more that I notice, like the the stuff that doesn't make sense. Right. Here's the thing. Yeah. You'll never see it coming. I should smack you. <laughs> Let's see if uh. You'll, you'll probably see me dead within the next couple minutes. Yeah, probably. Either way, we're going to see if uh, just gonna see if someone gets smacked up in Clam Blitz for game number two. Mm -hmm. As uh, yeah, we thought it was gonna be Clam Blitz game number one. Uh, Echo two. Mart too. Game number three, excuse me. Now this is best of five. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. And here we go, starting off Clam Blitz. So now it's uh. We see Luna, Astro, Ace, and uh, Ace and Neo approaching, and they're uh, so a big change on the team of Team Ace, where we got the uh, we're going to have the Explosher coming out. So definitely one of the more interesting ranged weapons that uh, that one can use. But man, that is a very high skill ceiling. You better be able to uh, provide some long range support if you're going to be playing that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It just sniped right there with the Ultra Clam, too. Oh, but he, Astro. Uh, Astro picks it up, and, but then loses it. And ooh, who's pushing up like that? Fine. Oh, my gosh. A team effort <laughs> indeed to get points on the board, and 80 might be all that they get, but that's still, uh, you know what? It's a 20 to nil lead for Team, uh, for team Ace. And that. Ace coming in at the very last second with those bubbles, giving himself all the space that he needed. Astro with the uh, with the baller as well, and Baki hitting him with the uh, booyah bomb, not gonna kill anybody though. And MKV, MKV. in the uh, bubble thing. MKV trying happening. to take his time, and unfortunately, who and Baki gets taken out too by Luna. Yeah, and Ace, uh, who was watching from the side, is going to take a more direct approach, and Chins wielding that uh, wielding that splatling. The Splatling Deco at that. The Splat Wall going to provide a very interesting uh, strategic. Oh, wow. Oh, and a nice squid jump by Chins getting out of that situation. The super jump to get himself out of a hairy uh, predicament for certain. Definitely. And now Astro, as we see the aerial view, you see uh, X trying to come through with that Splatter Shot Jr. It looks like he was spotted by Astro. The veteran presence of Astro certainly paying dividends for his team here today in Hapro. And as Luna comes in with the power clam, looking for support, and indeed she'll find it, but she's not going through. She's not going forward. Taking her time. Will that cost her? Indeed yes. it will. Maybe just a little too. And you see the Booyahs coming from Team Orange, MKV13 and Baki uh, leading the celebration there. Just communicating, hey, the threat has been neutralized and Chin's getting back to base. It's a very defensive game thus far, Infinite. Yeah, it really is. And it looks like, uh, what is it, Team Baki, is it? Team Baki, yes. Yeah, uh, Team Baki is actually, like, not getting any points on the board, it looks like. Just not able to push up because uh, 
Team Ace or Team Astro is just going in. And I noticed a lot of stoppage from uh, Team Baki, but not able to capitalize on the stoppage. And we got two Mecha Clams, and as uh, as they will go down. And now, Chins taking out the threat up close with the Splatling. I mean, you often see uh, when people. When people uh, get someone in their face with the Splatling, they tend to panic, but uh, Chins having no such problem there. Oh, However, the two-on-one situation, MKV13, yeah, they're definitely big on backline weaponry here in this game. And uh, yeah. you see, as you see, the the uh, that range is indeed the name of the game here at Clam Blitz. Oh, but a double kill. Chins going to try to provide as much support as he possibly can. However, a deluge of green ink coming in, and Chins is getting pushed back himself. The line's being pushed forward. Team Ace looking to extend their lead here. Will they be able to do so with the bubbles? And indeed, going to have, oh wow, that is a wow. lot of points off of the board. The two power clams simultaneously, and just like that, we are halfway home with just under a minute left. And that was wild. You're telling me and Chins getting pushed back just a little too easily. Astro being taken care of. It's a team effort there. And only 30, about only 30 seconds left in this match. Will uh, Team Baki be able to do some damage and bring this back? And Chins has done well to provide the splats thus far. It has 12 up to this point. But unfortunately, right. just getting pushed back by the teamwork of uh, of the green squad. Oh, Ace and Luna and Astro all over the incoming wow. threat. It looks like that will do it unless a last minute push can be provided. And indeed, that will not be the case. Astro and Ace proven to be just a little too much to handle in this game number three in Clam Blitz at Mako Mart. And as you'll see in the numbers, I mean, just uh, it's a story of how you do on the back line. And Astro, with that Explosher, providing just enough support with 13 kills. And Ace leading the way with 16 with the Splattershot Pro. Yeah, that was a nasty match. They led by a whole 50 points. Yeah. No, and they just could not get anything going offensively. The two times, the two scoring instances that Team Ace uh, were able to get through, it was... It was uh, masterful, really. It was, wait a second, I think we had someone uh, yeah. left of the lobby, it seems like, as we get set for Rainmaker for game and number three. Yep, uh -oh. so we are going to reset things here. Uh, folks, as we wait for uh, things to get resolved, we do thank you once again for joining us here for Switch versus At The Laboratory. Yeah, you know our, you already know Hit him with the ad with, slides. Hit him with the ad slides. Yeah, I'll let you do that one time. It's all good. You can follow us on all forms of social media, the gaming lab underscore on Instagram, youtube.com slash bros calamity. That's where you can check out VODs for this and past Switch versus at the laboratory events. Bros underscore calamity on Twitter. Facebook.com slash the gaming lab. You're already watching the Twitch. If you're not, go ahead and hit that follow button like it owes you money and go ahead and join the Discord as well. We like to spread the brotherly love to everyone, no matter where they are, whether in the in Philly or the Philippines, whether they're in Detroit or Dallas. But folks, Philadelphia Smash Ultimate Events, you see the schedule right there. Yesterday was codenamed Bears, and indeed it's gonna be happening the next Friday as well. Tomorrow we've got Gamers Heaven. You know, you already know, Charged Up Smash, Recharge, the newly branded events yes. out in Phoenixville, and of course our good friends at Sector X Gaming, and uh, every other uh, every other Wednesday, going to be alternating between local host arena and uh, Temple University. So, yep. shout outs to that, and of course this is a big one that we have to announce. Yes, we announced we it yesterday, do. Key Stoned Ultimate, happening Saturday, April 20th. <laughs> <laughs> right here at the laboratory. Get, just get yourself some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate action. It's going to be a big one. And yes, it's happening it right here at the laboratory. So yeah, as we get set back up again, and it looks like we're going Rainmaker on Walleye Warehouse. Now, this is going to be interesting because this is a very, very narrow map. This is a very narrow map. It's actually one of my best maps when I used to play Sotain. 
I always used to use uh, dualies and just be able. And since it's CQB, I'm able to like dodge back and forth, and you're able to like evade all the attacks. Yeah. So I wonder if anybody's gonna be able to take advantage of that if they're using dualies in this uh, Rainmaker, especially with that Rainmaker as well, having some decent uh, damage that it can do itself. Well, I mean, Rainmaker on this map in particular is going to be uh, is going to be weird because you do have those side uh, those side alleys, which you kind of mm -hmm. have to account for being. Uh, which you kind of have to account for being a uh, covered in some right. respect, but at the same time, you can't just go up the middle. That's a tarped area. You can't ink it. You mm -hmm. can't swim on it. You're not going to be able to, to approach quite as easily. So you're going to need to either get cheeky on the sides, or you're going to need a full-on forced effort up yes. the middle in order to uh, in order to score yourself a knockout. And especially with like because the Rainmaker shoots straight, and in a narrow map like this, you're guaranteed to hit somebody if you all bum rush the middle. So this is gonna cause a lot, uh, a lot of players to go from maybe the sides in this kind of a uh, predicament. As we get started, Team Ace versus Team Baki, and Team Ace on their uh, they win this. This is a uh, set point. Indeed it is, but it's going to be Team Baki standing in their way, and indeed here comes the roller, the crack on splat roller, in fact, to go along with the uh, sloshing machine, the Kensa sloshing uh -oh. machine, interestingly enough. Ooh, a nice start to this match already. And a few other changes. Astro wielding the Jet Squelcher once again. One of the reasons why his team came out victorious in game number one was his effectiveness at range with the Jet Squelcher. Going to break out some Tenta Missiles, and he's being joined by the Kensa Splattershot Pro, the Vanilla Splattershot, and the Enperi Splat Duelies being pushed up. Is that Rainmaker? However, they're being met with quite a bit of resistance, and 4-2 on the field. They're going to look to respond right back. Well, MK13 and X, however, wow. he gets splatted right away. Team Ace, Ace was on it, Infinite. Yeah, Ace was actually the one who killed him, too. It was just as soon as he grabbed it, bink, dead. Tagged him. Wow. And that tagged was, him hard. That was nasty. Looks like the Rainmaker's about to reset. And that's not going to be of too much consequence. Wait a second. In fact, they are going to keep uh, pushing forward. And now Ace trying to make sure that, uh, oh, he's going to he's gonna make sure that the, uh, the side angle is taken care of. However, the Stingray could oh. have something to say about that. Chins. Now that was brutal, and X is going to push forward and indeed take the lead for his team. 48 points on the board. Oh, and a MK nice splashdown from all the way from the sky. Yeah, however, it, no one. it was read eventually by Ace, and Baki being taken care of as well. A good double kill by Ace. And now the team effort is going to is going to have to really be on point here. We saw it in Clam Blitz, but can they make it rain on Team Baki here at Walleye Warehouse? It's going to be tough, but it was uh, some cheeky stuff by uh, by X and what a nice by the rest of his team. Him. However, wait a second, pushing up the sides and going all the way through. And Luna. Oh my gosh, Luna fearlessly wow. taking the Rainmaker all the way, putting 85 points on the board. That was an insane push by Luna. I mean, talk about it. Sometimes you can't think. You have to do. And indeed, that's what Luna did. Beautiful stuff on her part. And could that seal the deal for her team? MKV and company are going to have something to say about this. However, with Ace's uh, aggressive defensive measures. Oh, a Booyah, Booyah Bomb, bomb And up the middle, Luna goes. And Ace, he has support now. However, oh! gets tagged from above. MK13 with oh, no. that slashing machine. But it's, oh my, it's three to one on the field. Will they have enough to push up? They will not. Wow. Stopped in his track by the Splattershot Junior of X. MKV grabbing the Rainmaker. I mean, that was high risk, high reward. They're not going to be able wow. to reset the thing. You have to wonder maybe if a reset would be in the uh, the best interest of Team Baki because right now they're just getting out range, they're getting out ink, they're and getting out the everything. Bomb. And indeed, they're going to lose the uh, 
the fizzy bombs coming out. They're going to lose the Rainmaker once again. <sighs> Team Orange. Ace trying to provide as much support as he possibly can. But the Stingray coming out. They're going to try to push forward. Will Team Baki? And X with the Rainmaker can only do so much. And yeah, just too much, uh, not enough communication, it seems like, from Team Baki. I mean, you see Ace working together as a unit and Baki sort of as four individuals. That's not really conducive to victory, Infinite. Not at all. And the Toxic miss. And the life for Team uh, Baki is looking pretty dim as we only have 40 seconds left in this match. Oh, what a trade. MK13 doing well to get there. And Team Ace, he's going to have something to say about uh, about oh, all this. But oh, snipes Baki. Uh-oh. X just not having enough support. They're a little scatterbrained, it seems like. Our Team Baki, desperation is going to set in at some point. But we have 10 seconds left just about. Here we go. 15 splashes this far from that crack on roller. Make that 16. Baki, a good individual effort. May, might not be enough, and indeed it Ooh. won't. A total team wipeout secures victory for Team Ace here at Walleye Warehouse in Rainmaker. And you can see that push being assisted by one or two of her teammates by Luna wound up sealing the deal for an 85-48 to 48 count victory. Yes, indeed. Very, very good match. That we've seen. So that is how it's going to end for uh, match number one, Team Ace versus Team Baki. And uh, well done by Team Ace. Have to say, there was uh, multiple contributions all around from uh, every single side. You saw the stats. It was not an individual effort by any stretch of the imagination. No, not at all. But going to have to see how it shakes out in the next couple of <sighs> games good. for Team Baki as Team Happy Birthday Rakesh is going to be coming up. Oh, really? Well, there we go. There you go. So uh, and so as Raptura and company make their way towards the setup, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out because Raptura, I mean, we saw some good play with the Explosher before from Astro, but Raptura has taken that, uh, to that thing like white on rice. Si, senor.